welcome to the first game that we're recording for round two of the Archon's Corner Power Level 8 Bracket. Um, today, I'm Dr. Sheep, and I have Big Z with me. Hey, hey, here we are. Round two. We've got two really lights out decks today. Uh, so, uh, you already saw them in round one. We've got Inferno, Dis Logo Shadows. Um, lots of lockout with control the weak cycle, life ward, uh, lots of incremental steel, huge amber bursts, uh, versus galaxy, which has a little bit of control, but, uh, has better amber control on the top, top side. Cause it's got the double effervescence. It's got graft, huge, ginormous amber turns with double nature skull, double dust, pixie, nepsy, hunting, witch, um, some annoyance with telega, double mother for speed. Galaxy's got tools for days. It's got the poltergeist. I think it's got the poltergeist. Yeah, it's got the poltergeist. Yeah. Uh, they both they both have poltergeist though, so that's that's even field. They both got tools. Um, what what's your prediction here? I wonder if we will see the play where you get to phase shift into the Hecatomb tomb to kill all Ricardo's board and then effervescent principle all the amber away. Whew. That would be interesting. Uh, yeah, I didn't actually uh, send that through my my calculation of what I think is going to happen. I, I I think I don't know. What, what's your prediction? Who wins? I'm a Galaxy fan. I just don't the, know the, if those three control the weeks are just going to disrupt this plan too much. This is this is hard for me because these are two of my favorite decks. Uh, Joe used to be on team, so it used to be a team deck. Galaxy's still on team. It won a vault. I think the most recent Archon Vault, actually. Uh, Galaxy's a deck that just got better almost every set that came out um, just because of what it already had in it, what it already is good at. And honestly, I eat against MM, hell, unless they have Jar, I think it got even better. Like, you're going to capture everything. It's going to Nature's Call. <laughs> like... You're gonna have your sins. It has has Hecatomb. Like it's it's so good at doing so many things, and it's so fast. Um, yeah, I I I don't know what my bracket says. I, I actually I'm, I do know what my bracket is. I I've always been a huge fan of Ricardo. I played it in a vault. Uh, I didn't win the vault obviously because I've never won a vault. Uh, I'm actually still gonna go Ricardo. Like I I think it sneaks up um, and steals two wins away. And a two-one victory over Galaxy. So let's see if that happens. That said, I, I think Galaxy is the better deck in a field in an Archon event. Um, but today I'm going two-one uh, Inferno. So let's see it happen. Let's tell these guys to start. All right. Uh, tell them to start, and we're gonna start to see some cards fall. All right. Remember, change some screens. Keep this recording looking good. Nice, nice. Tell them in the Discord in case they're not. Uh, yep, we got Joe that. on the start. Nature's uh, called Dust Pixie with the IG, though. Uh, in the but yeah, the he, is, he is enough archive in deck. I don't think I, I tossed that. Oh, um, to. and, and I would have just started to play this there, um, but he did choose to. Um, Joe keeps his hand. Yeah. Um, you have the Terror in hand. Got mother in hand. Um, I think I actually lead with terror. Normally, I would like to leave with mother, but I know I'm in an amber race. I can't ever forget that because you're playing against galaxy. So I, I, I go terror uh, with my lead hand. I go terror as well. and I've, I've played Ricardo a lot. Uh, a side reason that I go terror is I don't actually want to see my control of the weeks too soon because um, you need. Some setup time to do that. And he does go tear. Okay. I say tear just allows for a better second turn. You know, putting mm -hmm. down three three big cards. Or... Yeah. And honestly, the draw you'd have gotten off the one mother, um, probably worth better having a better second turn play. You did get to two amber, so the ghostly hand's dead. So you'll probably see the logos come down. Oh yeah, you definitely go logos. Almost almost anything puts you on logos. Well, if he'd been exactly one amber, you would have been at check turn two if you'd gone shadows. Mm, that's true. I I do land my mechanic on the edge. Yep. Yep, yep. This is this is what Inferno can do. 
can't quite get into check going this next turn, so that's that would have been nice if he could have. What are the core artifacts over here in Inferno? Skeleton key, not really key. Gizmo. Um, Gizmo does a lot of work for Inferno, so killing the Gizmo is significant. I don't know if Luke would know that. Um, well, I'm just or wondering that would... if he tries to save the Poltergeist right now. So, what, you're pocketing Nature's Call for the big setup, or is it Control the Weak? All right, Nature's Call. Okay, good. Uh, oh, no, it's just regular lab work. Yeah, the lab work is Nature's Call. Ooh, that's a really good coming up turn. Um, Luke. That's a nice, nice dist. It's a little artifact uh, gonna come down. Okay, well, but what does he get for a turn here? He's probably gonna get logos again. I mean, playing the way. Yeah. Okay, trading the chair, getting the cards out of hand, definitely sends him back to look. Yeah, because he's. In Getting more cards on the board. Has a big Shadows turn coming. Uh, Logos was a huge hit. Um, and especially since he knows his opponent probably doesn't have an EP in hand because he discarded one Evervescent. Yep, and now so he's going to go for that hand, big Shadows turn. Mostly Hand is live too right now. Be yeah, because Nerve turn. Blast. Yeah. And then that I mean, like, in truth, I mean, Luke will probably come back. He's got to go this next turn. So put him on shadows probably after this. There's nothing like this is almost a, a near dead control of the week because it doesn't matter what he picks with that control of the week. It's going to be OK for Inferno. Well, um, I mean, kind of depends where the draw is. Could be a bad I mean, turn. like the math says most likely. You put him back on shadows, but that could bite you in the butt because he's drawing five cards. And he'll oh Mac the knife is Omni, so yeah. Like Shadows is probably what the what the Keyforge Coculus gods would tell you. What is the stall here? I mean He said he was playing off a laptop, so he might have a bad connection. Alright, so yeah, because this is definitely Shadows. Like like I said, the odds that he has EP in hand after discarding one and going logos two turns in a row is real, real low. And with Imperial Trader, he knows he's oh, safe. Oh, yeah. Yep, super safety. Uh, so, yeah, you go... It's out of the one archive. Yeah, Nerve Blast, steal one, Ghostly Hand, steal another, Relentless Whispers, put more damage on Mother just so that you can set it up for Mac the Knife to kill it soon. Yeah, this is this is real good. Yep, there we are. Big burst here. You're keep, you're, you kept the Titan mechanic already flanked, so you're forging at five, which probably holds. Yeah, that's, that's pretty rough. So, I mean, yeah, the Shadow's turn isn't amazing, but it's enough to put him back on check, assuming Titan mechanic is still out there. Mm hmm. And then does he heck it to him, or is he just going to have to discard that? Like, can he get forward to give him two more amber right now? I don't think so. Uh, he probably doesn't generally want to hold, uh, toss that card. Um, but I guess if you, even if you're giving him two, the next time he calls this, he doesn't get the two and steal one anyway. I think you got to play heck it to him. I mean, I know... Because the next time he goes into this, he'd be getting that two amber anyway. And one of them would come from him. Luke's Poltergeist, Poltergeist plays dead, and Library yeah, of Dam's it. coming down to make Joe's Poltergeist pretty good. Oh, yeah. It would be a minute. The Shadows if, is next. If we even really get there. Yeah, this is looking, uh, this is the type of victory that I was thinking that Inferno could get the two wins on. As I said, I played Inferno a whole lot. Um, this scenario is not that uncommon. Uh, it is the first. Oh, he does decide to dash it. I don't think it matters that much in the long run. Uh, we'll see. I mean, Didn't I guess he went. 
if he put his pit demon out and hit it, he could have been on check. I don't know if that's really meaningful. No. Well, yeah, probably not. Yeah, I mean, like, so this, Ma- this Mac game... Gets, gets the very valuable mother kill here and gets the amber going back into check. Check plus one, which is going to hold... Oh, no, he probably going to hold? Like, I don't think... Yeah, he's got to go and tame here, grab his, grab his nature's call. So he will have two keys. This isn't as big of a turn as it could have been. He doesn't have the Hunting Witch. Landing Telega probably doesn't matter. Bigger. Doesn't do anything other than the one. So what? He's taking back his Dust Pixie. What, what's he take on his opponent's side? What matters? His opponent's <laughs> not going to Shadow, so take Mac and Carlo. He sat in Shadow's two turns. That becomes Chains. Pit Demon, Mother, Titan mechanic? Well, Mother's useless unless... Because if he goes back into... Yeah. So he did Mac the Knife and Pit Demon. I, I, I like that. Mac the Knife definitely was one, one of the ones for sure. Oh, and drawn into a 2 2 2 hand. So. Yeah, this is that's, that's, looking real bad. That's, All yeah. Joe has to do is basically Logos. draw into his control of the weeks and it's over. I mean, he's just going to creep out in Logos and this game is. Well, in wow, Wild there's... Wormhole, Wild Wormhole, because yeah. if he hits. I mean, the... If any of those 15 cards are the control of the week, like this is super done. Yeah. Yeah, and going Logos, you do also get to kill Telega with, with a draw on the Quixo. Does he does he cover up tight mechanic just in case? Make him spend one more. That's just that's just rude. <laughs> no matter which house he goes into, he can cover it up. Obviously he's not going to shadows. But uh I, I think he I think he does. Either way, my call here is Logos. Let's see if he goes to Logos. He, he does have a Logos. gateway One, in his two, three, draw four, deck. Five. Hitting gateway would be problematic. But would it? But I not. Mean, like... But not. But not game losing. It would just be annoying. Yeah. Like you fight with the Quixo and then fire your Wild Wormholes. Oh, yeah. Reap and then fire your Wild Wormholes. Yes, just gateway. I, yeah, that's my call. I go Quixo, I Logos, Quixo, fight, reap, reap, wormhole, wormhole, see what happens. Here Let's comes. see if that is the line Inferno goes. There's the fight. He draws in the phase shift. <laughs> wow, that's insulting. So he still gets the poltergeist here. Yeah, or is it li- yeah. or light board. I, uh, either way, either I mean, one like, has so much value. Yeah, this game is just, just getting... so far gone. I still wormhole twice. I mean, there's times in in this deck where you just can't wormhole because it's a trap. Um, but this is not one of them. Oh, he got it! He got the control of the week. GG, it's over. There's literally no way you can be removed from check in Untamed. Um. Whew. All right, gal. Ah, Love he had to play his bad penny. Fine. Oh, playing life words actually a steal. Funny. <laughs> yeah, Luke saying in chat. Well, now <laughs> it happens. We've all been there. Yeah. Yeah, Luke called it. Uh, they're gg it up. Make new. Um, and we will... Joe is saying, wait. They're deciding who wants to go first or second. Um, Luke wants to go second.
Um, they will remake until Lucas Coe second. Which happened? All right, so that that was just out of hand fast out of Inferno. Great control of the week to give him an essentially dead turn. Yep, and, and not, he never he, he never really actually good. drew the other two again. He just wild warm hold for the last one. But as I said, I played that deck a whole lot. Like that is not that uncommon of a scenario. It's obviously close. Like that was I guess that's close to perfect of far as when he got his shadows cards because the ghostly hand doesn't hit that often um but the rest was ghostly was hand i normal. think is over sass like i see it in all kinds of crazy high sass decks and it, it does not hit that often i think the value on a lot of those cards should go down now that infernus is so active and competitive oh. but we have not really gone back and looked at those high pip cards all right oh uh, nope uh, uh so they got the right player, but Luke <laughs> chose the wrong deck. Uh, yep. Try that Leap. again. Um, hopefully some editing magic will uh <laughs> fast forward this a little bit. What Wookie? Come save us. Um. There's again. Yeah. I don't know why they're making this in casual. Oh, that's supposed to be. Just friends playing a game. Just for fun. All right. Oh, they should have known before they started. One of them said enhancements. I didn't even think that. I've been playing so much MM, it's just like it doesn't even register anymore. Oh, my God. That's all right. They got the wrong first player anyways. Now Joe chose the wrong game, and it's the wrong first player. This this is amazing. I I did note the time, so I can tell Wookie to cut this out. I think they changed the way the deck selection initially pops up because I've been seeing that happen a lot. Wrong deck, Luke. He doesn't want to play Galaxy. Yeah, there's a much larger delay um, when you go to select decks on TCO now than there used to be. And uh, it'll the first thing you see will be the last thing you filtered for in your previous game. So it looks like the deck is there and you can click on it. But what's actually there is just the default screen. So wrong player. I can't believe they haven't set the pick first player thing. Doo -doo. So we have more time setting up the game than playing the game. Yes, I mean that first. What what minute marker were we at when that first one finished? That was that was super quick. I do not know. With but our, I mean, I mean it was like it was fifteen ish, and we probably talked for five to ten minutes before that started. Yeah, it's like a ten minute game. Happens. Okay, we got the correct player. We got the correct uh, decks. All right, and we're back. Some hopefully some ten second editing magic, and now we've got game two. Uh, Joe is on the play. Luke is going second. Look, see what happens. I do mull. Yep. Uh, I would go ahead and land the mechanic. Definitely don't want to waste a phase shift here. Phase shift can be control the week on a logos turn. Okay. Later during your win the game cycle. Um, which is super devastating if you can get that to happen. 
I just think about phase shift something else just because it's too deep into the deck. It seems fine, but like there's a legit win con in Inferno with going through your control of the week cycles, and phase shift is part of that. So um, I feel like Luke's playing into a bit of a trap here. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's not what you want to see. No. He needs those in this matchup because that's the main difference between these two decks is that Welcome Galaxy has those. Um, so ma math says you send him back to this, even though the, the dude's down there. Um, so yeah, that's not wrong. Especially since you're blowing that up. So then, the because pay the shift, phase shift is important later. Yeah. Would you have archived? Oh, I probably. It? I would have archived phase shift. I do understand archiving bait just to get out of your hand because it's basically dead ish in most games. Um, but if he. And then he okay. draws into a forehand. So. Yep. Now, is gateway? Does he kill something? Then gateway. I don't know if he can afford the loss and. He definitely efficiency right now. Gets the value. Why did he reap? He could have purged Shred, still gained one, and got the one back. Because he was still money? Yeah, I don't know. You still should. I would have rather purge the guy. Right. Um, anyway. Well, there's no rise. It's not like these decks are probably going to get through themselves. That's true. It shouldn't matter. See, now. Gateway like, does hurt a lot. I guess Luke is. Going to be able chain. to play an effervescent principle because there's going to be plenty of amber in this game. Yeah. All right, that's a pretty good hit for wormhole. Your border's gone. No, it's not. So I would fade shift Carlo land strange gizmo to get a steal. Yeah, and I'd rather be throwing away the bait and switch right now than wasting the fade shift. Yeah. Oh, all them poor chains. He's just going to get some more. Yeah. yeah, he's going to get two more. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. He drew into a logo that gets a couple more draws. That's. Does he play the other ever? Yeah, he does. Yeah, I don't. I, I agree with the call, but I don't think Galaxy can afford the change to come back in this. We will see, though. But it's still technically, I mean, we're at, oh, he drew into Mother, so. Hey, okay. right now he's looking for your barracks launch. I just draw all my logos luck right now. I mean, he might have, I mean, LA has done crazier things. He's getting two more cards off of Wormhole right now. Okay, that's Untamed Untamed. And it plays the Positron uh, Bolt. It would have been better if he had drawn it. Well, and now and he sputtered out. Has a decent hand coming up. So still real close. Okay, um, yeah, you just go... You just go... Shadows, you pull your bait and switch, grab one, dump everything out. That would be a check. Uh, yep. And check, exactly. Luke's not going to be able to answer that. And he'll get a key. Bouncing back a pit demon and a bullet eye. Getting the check himself. Oh, uh, and since this check is going to hold, Gizmo's going to fire here. So then does he not nature's call those guys back? I don't know what you do. This is a really bad position. He definitely doesn't nature calls them, right? Like, uh, maybe Bullet Eye because he knows his opponent doesn't want to go to Shadows next turn, but Bullet Eye is somewhat of an annoying thing all the time. Um, oh. Oh, he's going to play and look for a real big draw here. Yeah, he's just going to... 
playing them, discarding them, that's the same thing. Um, yeah, he's just going for the big draw, trying to get one big amber turn and hoping that'll be enough to win. This. This. Just, I guess normally they're like I have to think harder. Uh <laughs> um, but based on what's happened in this game, it's been pretty easy to call what control the week goes. Um, yeah, there it is. Straight to this. Uh it goes back in here. Um, ooh, that might actually be a dead wild wormhole. I what are you uh, afraid of hitting? Gateway. I mean, I guess the chains might not matter. One in eleven chance. I mean, you only lose your terror. True. And you have what? You have a one in eleven chance at another control of the week too. So, so one in eleven, amazingness. One in eleven, three chains. Either way, I guess you're still landing your mother, so the chains won't be as harsh. Luke is still playing under the chains. He has six cards because mother was on the field. What's the delay here, though? Active player is show. He's considering what? I don't know. That's interesting. He didn't nature's call one of his own guys to get... Uh... Well, he was he had to call this last turn. It's Joe's turn. You're behind. He just took. Oh, chain turn. I. I am, but yeah, <laughs> nothing's going on for me here. Okay, well, so yeah, he just took an on tame turn. He put down his his witch, his two apes, and then he nature's called all three of Joe's creatures back, leaving him only okay. at five and not on check. Joe is now going to play Shadows. He's got a Relentless Whispers, a Nerve Blast, and a Mac the Knife. Okay. And the Imperial Trader to know what's going on in hand. All right. I'm back up to date. That was rough. Yep. So, like, does he effervescent principle for another garbage chain? That's he still has chains. Kind of way behind. Oh, you mean with the seed? <laughs> uh, that still feels like a bad turn. Here I guess that's what happens. Yeah. Another chain. What are you discarding? Smeltivator. De oh, you could actually just use the discard De Dexter. I don't think he's. I don't think he plays Dexter. The only reason you play Dexter is so if he puts you back on. Um. He discarded Hecatomb. Uh, see, that's why I might have played Dexter. And we controlled the week into logos. Yeah. Gosh, draft in hand. That's. I mean, sucks. like he Galaxy is just getting a beat down. Yep. I mean, I guess really to win this game, he needed to just draw a crazy untamed hand, do that twenty amber burst galaxy can do. Because Inferno doesn't have anything to deal with that. Mm mm. There are many scenarios where Galaxy just wins on the third second or third turn of the game because it would forge enough amber that would be enough to win the game. <laughs> but yeah, like I, I expected the Galaxy to get one win out of this, but uh, it's not happening. 
I don't it's see this going any other way. Painful to watch. <laughs> like he's getting he's getting beat up pretty bad. Oh, and now oh this is this is when it's totally over. If Inferno ever starts drawing back into the deck, <laughs> it's really bad for you. <laughs> um, because the control of the weeks are coming back. Oh, yeah, Luke is going to generate a lot of amber right now. It's just going to be most likely way too late. Yeah, because he's not redrawing to get his Tech of Rest principles back. No. He already used his seed. Get rid of Mac the knife. Yeah, Mac. But then, double I mean, you're looking at double effervescent principle up there. Ugh. You mean relentless? Yeah, double relentless. Yep. Yeah, he's gonna. If he gets Mac the knife, then. Analyst he's Mac. Analyst, really? That's weird. Then he re because now I mean Mac the knife. He's going to check next turn. Matt gets to kill a pixie and get amber. Yeah, there's a ton of amber. Um, oh, he got his control of the week charrette. So there is like a chance he can stall out there, somehow because he's got a redraw after that. Yeah. It's not very good. But at least I see a route to victory right now. True. Uh, if you're Inferno here, you play as many cards as you can to continue your draw. And that Shadows looks pretty good. You... Yeah, Shadows yeah. looks really good. Now, the question here, does Mac put one damage on Telega and then Relentless Whispers Telega? You ultimately lose one Amber, but then you can play your Carlo without issue, or you just discard Carlo and Bad Penny. Or just not worry about them getting amber at all. Yeah, what's one more amber? I guess that's kind of my thought here is what's one more amber. Yeah, so your your thought would be ping the ducks, Pixie. Oh no. Is is there a way to do that? Oh, and actually yeah. get all the things? No, so it's definitely Well, yes. Oh no, so you could reap. You could yeah. play your bad penny. Oh yeah. Well he can still just reap. That's just reaping. Yeah, it's Reap, and then Double Rolls, which was the two Pixies, and then decide whether you want to play your Carlo or not. He does have the life ward, so that's a steal next turn. Wait, I'm not behind again. Did he pick yet? Mm, I have not seen a pick yet. Okay. Making sure. Uh, Joe likes to do the math, and he goes Logos. Logos? So one, two, three. Five. All right. I think this is a big mistake. Wow. Not going to check here. Oh, he does still go to check. Because he can reap with... Um, that's, that's, oh, yeah. He can get. He can even kill Nifflape. Honestly, he can. He can twin bolt Pixie and Nifflape. Then Matt kills Niffle, gain an Amber. Let's see if that comes up. <clears throat> Niffle and Snuffle. Okay. Leaves the Relentless Whispers live for next turn. That's true. Yeah, there's the check. Now though, what do you control the week into here? I have no idea, man. It's bad. I, if I were playing his, I mean, I would call Logos because my opponent just called Logos and he didn't draw. <laughs> well, creatures on the table. But that's better than him playing six cards against me. In yeah. any of the other houses, 
Like, it doesn't matter which house. They're both real bad. <laughs> yeah, Luke's there struggling with the decision, I think. I, I, think it has, I, I think, I think I what I see on the board is definitely way less potentially worse than what I don't know. I think I would make a mistake and call this. I mean... No, I wouldn't call this because I wouldn't give you a chance to play the control of the week. Yeah, you don't you don't want to be controlled yourself. That's instant game over. There's no key cheats in Galaxy, right? Yeah, no no key cheats. So <laughs> Yeah. He's saying in chat, no good choices. Um, and that is very true. He just doesn't know how how much. Uh Because even like even going this, it's three creatures on board because of Mac, yeah. and then the control of the week, which is a, he's drawing a lot of cards. Yep, he did what I said. I think you have to go Logos. Um, I, just the work? only other thing is you go Shadows, or yeah, you go Shadows and hope he just drew a bunch of discards on just crapshoot luck, right? All you're playing is luck then. Yeah, Library of Babel is an Amber and a draw. I would start with that. So is another draw. I don't see anything that I care about. Actually, Quixo into Charette and then Mac to Knife Charette. Yep. That would be value. Um, more so I than mean, just reading. I mean, like basically he was looking to draw an effervescent principle. Yep. Did and he didn't. Yep. And that's that's that. Guess, yeah. He even drew a logo card. Oh, of that. Why not? Think, I mean, he knows he, there's no key cheat. Because uh, he's at potentially going to get above effervescent range, right? If he landed the Titan. I think he can get to 10. 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, he could get to 10. Yep, I, I had to play a deck that went to time by just playing effervescent since that's what it was. It's get to 11 and say, Go ahead. <laughs> mm. Okay, well, discarded discarded the Titan mechanic. Fine. Reap. 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 Mac is gonna ping Charette to gain four. Yep, <laughs> there it is. There's a concession. Here's the GG's. Um, Inferno in two. Uh, yeah, so we have Inferno advancing 2-0, and my bracket predictions still remain perfect, except for the one match that I played in personally. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, I don't know if they're going to join. Uh, so they said a minute. So thoughts, thoughts on the game? Uh, I don't know if Inferno was drawing hot by any means. I mean, it definitely drew fine, but I think Galaxy did not draw well. And like when Luke was thinking he was going to get his Library of the Dam down and start Library of the Damning, he got Poltergeisted every time. And that's, yeah. I mean, like I know Galaxy... I know Nathan talks about it when you guys talk about it, that Library of the Dams, you expect it to do a lot of work setting up big, big turns, and that, mm -hmm. was, that was not a thing these games. Well, I mean, when you're playing against Inferno, you don't have a lot of time. Inferno is going to generate four-ish Amber a turn. <laughs> so it's all incremental bursts, but it is Amber. It's, it's generating Amber almost every turn it plays. Um, so you don't have a lot of setup time. And the Control of the Week... Uh, does wonders in this deck? Yes. Uh, yeah. Welcome hey, Luke. To the chat, Luke. Hey, uh, that what happened? The Inferno. <laughs> yeah. You <laughs> fell into I mean, a ball sure, of fire. Yeah, I'm sure you saw. You were watching my hand and saw any mistakes I made, but I feel like he, for the most part, it was 
him making all the right control the week calls and yeah is <laughs> is is well in his on his his case of things like his calls became very obvious you you played out through a house in some case you were drawing very little like so you just go straight back to that house right like and that's what he was doing i don't think he deviated from that that idea of just call the last thing that they called as long as the board wasn't huge and in every case he had that decision to make you didn't play a big board from that house um cuz as we were just discussing you were running into a lot of 222s two, two, 321s three, two, um, yeah I'm, I'm thinking back to the hand where i needed to decide between playing out the four untamed cards which would get me a bunch of points but then would die they'd all immediately die yeah or just throwing down two discards and letting the board get wiped which I'm not sure was the wrong move, but it let him very smartly just force me into this again, and there was nothing I could do. Yep, yeah, that's that's one of the ones that ha- where that happened. It was just like this is the easiest control the week call ever. Like obviously, <laughs> he didn't want to call that in the first place. You basically control the week twice. Um, yeah, it's it's crazy. Uh, okay, let's see if we can get Joe back in here because somehow he got kicked all the way out of our chat, and. Um, Add. All right, but yeah. So control of the week does its thing. Uh, here he is, Joe. <laughs> is that how you thought things were gonna go? Um, no. I don't know. I I I guess I didn't really like. I don't. I've pl- I assume I've played this matchup at some point in the past, but I didn't totally remember it. But with my lack of scaling steel, um, certainly I'm concerned about how quickly Galaxy goes off. Right, like if he goes off on turn three or four, I just like automatically lose the game. So all yes. of them, I felt a lot of pressure to just get there faster, um, because Galaxy doesn't have a ton of control. Yeah, if I remember right, this is something we practiced a bunch among everyone like a year and a few months ago, and I think Inferno won slightly more, but not drastically more. Yeah, but Joe here has never fully respected Inferno as I have. So this was my <laughs> bracket choice, Joe. Thank you for making me remain perfect in every matchup prediction, except I did say 2-1, so it did go 2-0 instead of 2-1, except for the match that I beat you. I had predicted you to win. I guess if I had just tanked a couple of games... <laughs> um... So if it had gone two one, could I have claimed that Z paid me off? With that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just yeah. trying to get the free prizes, so I don't have to send them to anyone else. The free, free prizes you've got a sponsor yet? Yeah, the the free free yeah. prizes that come out of my deck pool that I will just send to myself, save me some shipping. Um, but yeah, yeah. You, you know, I felt I felt pretty lucky in that first game. Um, you know, I just I just felt like the flow was pretty good. I was happy with the. Again, because I felt like I needed to get there first, I was pretty happy with the turn one terror rather than mother play and just playing her yep. a couple of turns later. Um, I yeah, was we lucky. talked about that, and I, I agreed that terror was the play because you want just the way you want the flow of it to happen, um, and you would rather play three Logos cards on turn two. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then, um, you know... Uh, in game two, when the gateway went off, I was just like, hallelujah. Um, you yeah. know, with the two principles, the first principle was excellent. I think the first, the second principle was a question, but I don't think it was like clearly right or wrong. That gateway, I, though, have... I was like, take those three chains. <laughs> yeah, I, that, I did comment on gaining those three chains at that time. I don't know if, um, Galaxy could have afforded those three chains against Inferno because Inferno is going to gain. I haven't mentioned this; cause it's going to gain about four Ember a turn, almost guaranteed. Um, that's just what happens. It's that so that getting those three chains is potentially devastating. Yeah, that that was probably the wrong move. I do think both principles were the right move, just because yeah. it was somewhat mitigated because it was a library access turn. Oh yeah, yeah so drawing a card. So yeah, like I agreed with the double principle. I would have been torn on it, but I think I have to draw into my deck there. Um, yeah. But the gateway, like I, I think I just dashed that um, because that's where you started to slow down quite a bit. Uh, yeah. 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 I was... Go ahead. Go ahead. 
to stash it, I I would have had to hold it, and at that point, I'm already giving oh, myself. I, I meant dash, like discard it. I use the right. Oh, dash it. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, just... yeah, that that was probably the right. Honestly, I was so sad when I saw it come up early with this matchup. I want Gateway to come up about two thirds of the way down my deck. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, there's a lot of cards. Like, I was happy your Poltergeist went out early both games, and you were probably happy my Poltergeist went out early in game two. Um, I did feel like my Gizmo was in a, you know, Gizmo is a card I have to be careful of in my deck, and I felt like it came out in a good t- at a good time in game two. Um, game one, I felt like I got pretty lucky with, like, that final turn was going Logos there is pretty questionable, because if I Wild Wormhole the Gateway, I'm, like, real sad. And so I was having to be like really careful and kind of hoping to get lucky, but I felt like it was my best way to check the third key there. Yeah. yeah if I remember back, if you don't gateway a uh, wild wormhole to control the week, I think either of the other two houses I had in hand something to keep you off key that turn, but wild wormholing the the control yeah. the week was yeah. Well, I feel like Wild Worm holding the control of the week just describes what Inferno is, so it, it's fitting. Yep, it is walking yeah. into an Inferno. Sometimes you just lose, and you're sitting there like, did I really play a turn this game? Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I feel like I had some issue, like bad luck with card order, but mostly it came down to Joe just playing all the right moves and steamrolling me. <laughs> all right. <laughs> It's definitely, you know, the wild wormhole. It's a, it is a funny deck because yes, it has two wild wormholes and three control the weeks and one gateway that you don't want to hit, right? Most like most of the time, yeah, most of the time you don't want to hit that card. <laughs> I'm, I've lost plenty of times with Inferno where I just like turn three wild wormhole gateway that blows up my advantaged board and the game is just like over. Uh, yeah, so it it is a little bit of a swingy deck, but um, the amount of disruption it has combined with its speed gets it just to this like tipping point where it can make it it can just lock people out sometimes. Yep. Yeah. All right. Is it safe to assume on the final control the week I played, you could comfortably get above six amber no matter which house I called? Yeah, it didn't matter which way you went. It was all (laughs) bad. Like it was just degrees of bad. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I was thinking through trying to figure out I was figuring there's going to be amber rush in every single house, but I was hoping I could maybe have no more cards played out and clog up the hand and maybe draw my principal, but I don't even know if that would have been okay to draw the principal because you would have got up close to eleven. Yeah, yeah. Even that. Yeah, he would have been. At, he he ended at eleven in, uh, in logos. I I think he wouldn't have hit eleven in disc. Maybe I don't know. It, it's it's the reason it's, I didn't go disc is if I go disc, I'm he's probably holding a control the week. Yeah. And even if he doesn't get to eleven, I'm not winning yeah, next it's, turn. It's when, yeah, it was it was already over basically. Yeah, you, got your, you needed it sooner or some other things to happen. But yeah, uh, we bursted, both, you, oh. it's a perfect example of if you bursted one turn earlier, that game might have ended differently. Yep. Yeah. True. Very true. Well, very well played. Good job. Thanks. Good game. All right. We thank you both. Uh, we'll see you in uh, what. This was around uh, top eight. So you see in the top four, Joe, Luke, you're as amazing as always. Uh, Hopefully (laughs) something else will come up soon. I'm happy just to be here. Bye. (laughs) All right. Last words, Dan.